Hello, my name is Paige Carmack and I'm a first generation college student studying nursing at Catawba College. I had the incredible opportunity to go on a medical mission trip with the School of Health Science and Human Performance over spring break to the Dominican Republic. On this experience, I was able to learn about another country's culture and healthcare system. This video outlines my volunteer time in the clinics as well as my biggest takeaways from this incredible experience. When we arrived in the Dominican Republic, we were met by our volunteers around the world tour guide. We were then taken to Jarabacoa, which is the city where we stayed. We were welcomed by staff and given a tour of the city. In Jarabacoa, the main form of transportation is on a moped. We were told that the reason this was the main form of transportation is because of the high gas prices. We quickly learned that horn blows occur as often as greetings in the city. On our tour, we were able to see several stray dogs that were wandering the streets, as well as large trash piles. The city of Harabakoa had several small stores and restaurants. When we were traveling to the clinics, we were able to see the rural setting of the Dominican Republic, which is very comparable to the United States. It consisted of large fields with livestock. We were able to volunteer in the medical clinics on four different days. There were also four different tasks that we could complete while we were serving in the clinics. The first station was the intake station. At this station, we were asking medical questions and getting the individual's personal information. There was also the vital sign station. At this station, we got height, weight, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, pulse, respirations, and blood glucose. There was the consultation station, and this is where you worked with the providers. You were working on assessments and then working with the providers to treat the patient. And then there was the last station, which is the pharmacy. And here you would organize medical records and sort medications that would be put into baggies and given to patients. On our first medical clinic day, we were stationed at an elementary school and we were able to see a total of 71 patients. I was assigned to working in the pharmacy and during this day, my roles and responsibilities included organizing and inputting medical information into the computer database, as well as referring to provider's orders and pulling the appropriate medications. I was able to practice several skills that would help me in my future nursing practice, which includes providing medication education, as well as educating the patient on non-pharmacological interventions, such as rest, change of position, and or ice and heat. On the second day of medical clinics, we were stationed in a town hall building in a rural community, and we were able to see a total of 38 patients. On this day, I was assigned to working at the vital sign station. While at the vital sign station, I got to obtain height and weight, blood pressure, respirations, pulse, temperature, and blood glucose. On the third medical clinic day, we were stationed in the city outside the PTOT clinic, and we were able to see a total of 52 patients. On this day, I was assigned to working at the intake station. I was responsible for obtaining personal and medical information from the client and recording it on the paper chart. This was a challenging experience which placed me out of my comfort zone and allowed me to grow in my ability to speak in another language. On day four of working in the medical clinics, we were stationed in a church building in the city. We were able to see a total of 97 patients. I was assigned to the consultation station, which means that I got to work with the providers. This was by far my favorite station because it allowed me to put everything together. We were having to rely solely on our assessment skills and communication with the patient to treat them. We did not have access to laboratory or diagnostic studies like labs, x-rays, or urinalysis. It was an incredible experience to work with providers that displayed good teamwork and collaboration. On the fifth day, we went to physical and occupational therapy clinics to shadow. During this experience, we got to observe physical therapists and occupational therapists perform range of motion exercises, massages, and administer treatments to patients. This shadowing experience allowed me the opportunity to observe another member of the healthcare team provide care for the patient. In addition to the volunteer work we were able to complete in the Dominican Republic, we were also able to view a free clinic that is located in Puerto Plata. This free clinic raises money to fund their clinics by having a tourist attraction where you go in and feed monkeys. All proceeds that are raised from this tourist attraction go to fund the free medical, dental, and vision clinics that are hosted by the Monkey Jungle. Oh. <laughs> 
This opportunity allowed me to view the importance of population health related to community health as well as the impact of population health on global health. In the Dominican Republic, patients did not have easy access to primary or secondary interventions. As a result, patients were having to receive tertiary interventions treating the disease or condition they were diagnosed with. In my nursing practice, I will seek out community resources to help with preventive primary care as well as secondary interventions including screenings for patients. This experience allowed me the opportunity to work with my peers and other members of the healthcare team to provide care for patients. As a result of working as a team in the medical clinics, we were able to see a total of 252 patients. Teamwork and collaboration among healthcare team members allowed for us to provide care for more patients and leads to better patient outcomes. During this experience, I was able to provide culturally sensitive care. The beliefs, practices, and ideas of the patient were the starting point of planning care for our patient's interventions. It is important to take into consideration the patient's cultural beliefs and practices so that their care is patient-centered. When the care is patient-centered, the patient has more success because the care is individualized to them. In closing, I would like to thank Catawba College School of Health Science and Human Performance for organizing this medical mission trip. I'm excited to start my professional nursing practice as a new graduate nurse this summer and take the knowledge, lessons, and skills I have developed from this international experience, as well as my undergraduate studies, into the workplace. It would not have been possible without the generous contributions from Catawba College through the International Study Scholarship and the IMPACT grant. I would like to thank Dr. Romano, Dr. Rakes, and Dr. Atwater for their guidance and leadership during this experience.